About 8,000 New Mexicans have medical marijuana cards, and one man helped a lot of them get those cards. But the state thinks he's helped too many of them, so they've yanked his medical license. Is he a Dr. Feelgood? News 13's Alex Goldsmith has that story. Zia Health and Wellness in Northeast Albuquerque is not your typical doctor's office. On the billboard out front, the words marijuana cards. The practice's purpose is to help get New Mexicans certified to get medical pot. Physician's assistant Richard Rubin's job there was to see if patients qualified. He says he helped at least 500 people get their cards, about 7% of everyone currently on the program in New Mexico. That is, until last year, when he was working on the paperwork needed to help a patient with PTSD renew his card. It ended up that the psychiatrist didn't know that the patient was on the cannabis program and had um, some feelings against cannabis. That psychiatrist also happened to be on the state medical board and filed a complaint against Rubin saying he was breaking state law because he wasn't allowed to recommend people for the medical marijuana program that he wasn't caring for. The state agreed. In May, without a hearing, the board unanimously suspended Rubin's medical license, saying he was recommending medical pot for patients who weren't his and didn't have the proper supervision to do so either. My reaction was shock. And he wasn't the only one. The head doctor on another state board that advises the cannabis program wrote this letter to the state medical board telling them that they were misinterpreting state law. And now Rubin's fighting back. His attorney filed this lawsuit in federal court Wednesday asking that the state give Rubin his license back and pay damages. The outcome of the case could have a huge impact on how patients can get a medical marijuana card. Alex Goldsmith, KRQE News 13. Of course, doctors only recommend patients for medical marijuana. The health department ultimately signs off on their applications. The state medical board did not respond to our request for comment on this story.